Yoda, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We are back with Akira in the underground, where we have just dispatched a large, large number of ghouls. They lay defeated at the hands of Akira through various means, both explosions, buzz saws, and in some cases a crossbow. But all the same, this area has been cleared, and there's nothing else for us to do in this section. There is still more for us to explore, but I believe a trip back to town is in order to restock and, well, perhaps prepare for a journey into the real airport. And so with that, let us dive on in. All right, Akira. Now, this shouldn't be too difficult for us to do. We're going to be running this old fusion core on back towards home. At least that's the idea. We'll see if that's going to work out for us. You know what? I think it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Hey, if there's any enemies, we'll be able to see them. So that's a bonus in my books. Yeah, nowhere else that we can go up and around here. The next place for us... I believe is going to be that way yes and from memory that sorry pardon the cut there just had a ginormous sneeze attack me oh there's another one coming oh dear oh dear it's all this dust in the air I'll be back okay let's let's hope that has passed for now but this is the next door that I'm going to want to try and go through it's either that or we head back into the sewers and see if we can encounter any more ghouls or molden men down there. Yeah, there are paths that we haven't explored down there yet, but um, I don't know, just the idea of constantly pushing on towards... Let's not knock this into things. Oh, damn it. <laughs> the idea of constantly pushing on towards the airport, I feel like is a, it's, it's a goal that Akira would be aligned to. That's where the majority of these creatures are, and so that's where she's going to be pointing herself towards, even if even if it's not the greatest idea in the world, and it it isn't, you know, for trying to survive in frost, it's uh, it's a pretty terrible idea. I doubt we're going to find much. In saying that, though, I thought the same thing about coming here, and we found a ton of food. Unfortunately, we had to use much of that food uh, to actually help us recover, so. That was unfortunate. Now let's try not lose this thing into the water, if possible. There we go. All right, nice and easy, Akira. Yeah, this is how we do it. So we're just essentially carrying this out in front of us as carefully as we can. I don't know how much we're going to be able to get for this. We'll try. We'll try. We'll see what we can get. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to sell this to the buyer because he seems to have the most out of everyone in terms of caps. So we'll see what we can get. Our Mintats has finally ran out, but that's going to give us a little bit of sanity back, and that's something that we desperately need after all of the uh, trouble that we've been running into as of late. Now, I have left a fair amount of food over here, and I'm tempted, I'm tempted to do something about that. I know we've also left some junk here as well. Um, I just want to check it just to see exactly what we have. Okay, yeah, so a whole heap of... Um, all sorted goods really things that we are going to need to bring back there's nothing i think that we can immediately make right now that could be of benefit to us um we might actually have everything we need to start trying to put together a sight for our 10 millimeter pistol yeah hmm so apparently this also has a destroyed receiver so that's why it's not super amazing it, it, hey it did an okay job all things considered i feel like it did an okay job so, yeah. I think what I'm going to have to do here is just do a little bit of transferring. And as always, that's not the most exciting thing in the world. So, I'm going to run this back. And then I'm going to transfer all of the junk out of here into the stations that it's meant to be in. And I'll be back with you all in a moment. Okay, I've brought you all back for the time being. Because we are going to be adding a little sight to our 10mm pistol. We are going to be keeping it for the time being. Even though we don't have the ammunition for it. I'm confident that we're going to be able to come across some eventually. That and this is going to give us a little bit more experience by doing anyway. Now, do we want to go for the circle or do we want to go for the regular? I think we're going to go for circle. Honestly, I actually can't remember what's going to be better for us. Um, so, hmm decisions decisions 
Um, let's just go regular. Let's see. Yeah, so we're going to use a fair bit on this, but I'm okay with that. I actually do want to take the nuclear material back with us, though, that we have with us. And uh, that is all that we can do here at the moment. We've got the heavy receiver on it. And I don't know if there are any other modifications that we're going to be making to this right now. Uh, we can't make any of those until we get much, much further along. We are still with the heavy strings for now, which gives it a slight increase to accuracy, but nothing super amazing. So we need Gun Knot 2 to get to Hunting Bow. And hunting Bow... Hunting Bow, the range goes up a fair amount. The accuracy doesn't really change much at all. That's something that we're going to have to work on ourselves, for the most part. I would like to get a little higher in Gun Nut eventually, but I think the next thing for us is going to be Riflemen, so that we actually have a chance to hit things with this, because uh, right now, it's just, it's not going to happen. So, yeah. No, we don't need any extra bashing there at all. And as for the bolt, we're not going to be changing that. I wouldn't mind using, like, the, um the saw head. I'm trying to remember how we're going to change out that though. Because we can only go to the boat, the bolt from here. It might be trying to change it from being flaming back to standard or something like that, potentially. Now let's jump back downtown because we have a few things to sell. Okay, so I have my suit. I'm ready to go. Uh, we haven't checked to see what the time of the day is, so uh, we're still a little early, unfortunately. At least a few hours early for us to be able to do anything there, so... We need to pass some time. Hmm. Well, we're not hungry or thirsty yet, are we? Um, no, that is a lie. Indeed, we are. So we're going to have to go and have something to eat. That's fine. We do have a few fungal stews remaining. There we go. Uh, we're parched. Well, we can deal with parched. We're just going to drink straight and see how much that uh, affects us. Apparently, it doesn't give us as much in the way of rads. That's less than one. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'll just end up doing that from now on. That could actually be better for us, just drinking straight from the source. Who knows? Who knows? Yes, we're still going to be taking rads, but... There are worse ways to do it. Now, how fast is time actually going right now? Because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to wait until about 9. Yeah, so... We're just going to have to go and have ourselves a quick sleep. Because I do want to try and sell these things. We did actually yeah. pick up some schematics as well. We want to be able to sell those so that we can get a little bit more cash in our pocket. Honestly, we're not going to be able to do too much with that cash, but... Um, you never know. You never know. We might be able to one day. There are useful things that they sell, so I'm sure we'll be able to make use of them in time. Yeah, they're still happy. That's fine. So let's just go, maybe go for like a four hour sleep. That's heaps of time. Okay, alright. And no negative effects, so that's nice to wake up to for a change. Yeah, let's leave the doors open for now. I think Akira's pretty confident that she's the only person that's down here. I mean, she has the yes. key as well. No one else here is coming down this way because they don't actually have a key for the access tunnels. Whereas we do. I imagine maybe some of them do here, but, uh, yeah. We hold most of it. Okay, so we'll start off in the bar. I do want to see if they have any food. We might as well buy it if they have it available because we're going to eat through our stocks eventually. All it's going to take is one more sickness and, yeah, we won't be looking so great. What can I get you? Food. I've and, got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I've got. Um, actually, we should change out into our gear. We'll see if that makes any 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 difference at all. So we're looking at, for the lager, we're looking at about 17. So let's just go into the corner, get some privacy, or try to at the very least. And we'll just go swap out into our gear that I brought along for the ride. Yeah. See how much that helps us out. So we'll be looking interesting, to say the least. I definitely want to check out the bounties eventually. Yeah. Something we'll work towards. Can I get you a drink? All right. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Okay, I d I haven't had a drink either, so it did knock off. It knocked off a little bit, so that's not. It's not terrible. It's not amazing at the same time. Crab meat. Yeah, it's not going to do much for us. We'll just grab. We'll grab some beer for now, because we're gonna need it. Yeah, we'll just take that. I'm going to go ahead and accept that trade. Um, you don't actually have much, do you? No, you. No, you do not. No, you do not. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to trade much to you at all. Now, as for you, though, good sir. Excuse me. Let's see. Sure good. And I think we have something Let's for you. you got. Here's what I've got. 
Okay, yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. An ivy bag, unfortunately, it doesn't have anything in it. Um, yeah. I guess sometimes he might get lucky with some of the things that he has. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to sell. Hmm. It's going to be under MISC for our schematic. Yeah, so unfortunately, it's not the most we could get for it, but it's it's better than nothing. It's not a terrible amount. Unfortunately, Akira gets, she gets pretty ripped off, but, you know, what can you do? We could probably go ahead and sell these as well. We don't really need to hold on to them for any reason. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then finally, under ammunition, we also want to trade the fusion core. Unfortunately, not going for too much, but again, it is better than nothing. There we go. So I am going to be intrigued to see what what's going on at Oz's place. Sorry, I always have to shout as soon as we go into here. Just to see how things are. And you know what? We are actually going to have a beer for this one, seeing as we did get some. We shall. And that will help us out a little bit. Now, some of you have been saying, why don't you just take Day Tripper? Unfortunately, Day Tripper lowers our sanity, so we don't want to be doing that. And that is tempting. It's a good thing you're not huh? a ghoul. You. I, I, I said it's a good. <laughs> said it's a, for a weapon. Said it's a good thing you're not a ghoul. I've That's, got a few minutes to browse. Great. Okay. All right. Automatic laser rifle. You're actually not charging that much for it. It must have. Uh, must be kind of semi destroyed. Um, how are the rounds at the moment? Yeah, they're they're very expensive. They're still very very expensive. Um, crazily so. The the thirty eight rounds are the only ones that seem to be affordable and they're the most common so I guess that makes sense but yeah still god damn <gasps> Ooh. are we all seeing this hell yes it's damaged I don't care if it's damaged look at that resistance that is incredible I am buying that this is why we come here. This is why we check this stuff out. Holy crap. Yes, please. Wow. Hypodermic bolt? What now? Okay. Intriguing. Let's see if there's anything else uh, interesting along the way. So-so. Uh, yeah, you sell the strict, extraordinarily expensive filters. But yeah, we're going to go for the damaged hazmat suit. Hell yes. Holy crap, that is, uh, that's something else. And it's not actually that expensive. Wow. Okay, so that's, that opens the door for us to go into some incredibly irradiated areas. So I'm very happy that we have that thing. And it also means that we could probably go out and rad storms. Oh, the possibilities. They are endless. Okay, right, well, we can move around fast now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put back on our original armor. I'm probably going to leave the suit. Well, let's see how heavy the suit is, because we might actually just be able to bring it along with us for the ride. Quite possibly. But we are going to be dropping our other bits and pieces down, so let's just go get changed into some new gear. Actually, yeah, it's only five. I mean, like that... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Yes. She doesn't know either. I mean, I, I'd like to keep that because if the opportunity arises, we don't have to run all the way back. I mean, that means we can swim through radiated water. Um, I mean, it's a lot of resistance. It's a lot. Considering Radix gives you, what, a plus, plus 100 to your rad resistance? That's 750. And this is damaged. Can we fix it at the armor bench? Maybe we can. No, we can't. Damn. I guess it just stays damaged. Well, that's unfortunate. Heck, let's let's just try it on. Just eyes away for now. Let's go see what this thing actually looks like. Yeah, so as you can see, our carrying capacity is lower. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a proper suit. We'd hell yes, we're using that to explore the surface. And that's also why I'd love, love, love to have a backpack. Yeah, so, question is, are we going to hold on to it? Hmm, that's a not-so-easy question to answer. I think we're going to bring the 10 millimeter pistol along with us. No, it, that's way 5. I think we'll, we'll bring it with us if we if we can get some more ammunition. And sure, we could spend some of these caps on ammunition now, but I don't think we're going to. 
in saying all of this, though, I think we're probably going to have to take this Buffalo helmet to the next area because we were taking a fair amount of rads in the airport. So we might even have to bring this hazmat suit along for the ride. I, I, I honestly think that we'll need to. So we'll try and set ourselves up to go that way. Yeah. Did I chuck my mining helmet in here as well? I think I did by accident. No, we got the buffalo helmet. So we're not going to need the goggles either. And we're not going to need that. So we're a little lighter at this point. So let's go ahead, put that on, put that on. Unfortunately, it's going to drop our perception down, which sucks. But um, ain't much we can do about that right now. The clean suit we can go ahead and put into here as well. Yeah, I mean, we've got some space, so that's okay. And we actually did have a little bit of junk there, apparently. That's okay, we'll keep that there for the time being. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring the lantern with us. And I think I'm gonna actually have to equip it as well. Yeah, that way we should... Yep, there we go. So it's slightly different, different tone of light. Huh? But it's not terrible. So... Okay, now it's time to do stock take. Because, uh, unfortunately, for you, we don't have any ammunition. Uh, what about you? Where is my... Have I... I've left it here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna be back in a second. I'm gonna have a think about what I want to try and bring with me. Um, just so that I'm not floundering. So I'll be back after I've made some choices. Okay, so I have returned and I've kind of decided that I am gonna be making some more of these bolts for us. We're gonna push it. There we go. So, we've got a few more that we're gonna be taking along the ride for us. I am gonna be relying on it to a degree, which might be a mistake, but it's not the only thing that we're gonna be leaving with. I am actually gonna go purchase some ammunition because I think to do otherwise will be really silly. Um, we don't need a huge amount of ammunition, just need a little bit. Now, I don't know if our alcohol is still affecting us. I will check and see if that's the case. Uh, it is. I'm only getting plus yeah. one charisma. Hello. Let's see. <laughs> if you need a weapon, you've come to the right place. Let's see the difference in, in pricing. Sure. So we, Here's what I've got. We were looking at 55 before for a 10 millimeter round. So as you can see, it's a lot more expensive. It is a lot more expensive. So for us to just get four shots. No, nah, it's, it's, not, it's not worth it. It really isn't. <laughs> it really isn't. Sorry, buddy. You're ripping us off. No, we're gonna we're gonna count this as a scouting mission, so to speak. We're gonna be committing. We are definitely gonna be committing, but um, we're gonna be ready to pull out should things look like they're gonna be too crazy there. Because when we stuck our head in, we were just getting a lot of rads, so that kind of scared me off the first time. Uh, before we go though, I do want to go ahead and roast up the remaining food that's here, just so we can get the experience for doing it. Okay, and we should be able to... There we go. All right, chunks. You can only make one. That's all you can make. Now, am I going to take that with us? Yeah, we don't know how long we're going to be gone for. We still have some fungal stews. Um, do we actually have anything in the way of dirty water with us? We've only got one, so... I feel like we should probably... No, there's water along the way. I'll go ahead and fill up some of those on our journey. Uh... Where did the... Oh, they must be in here. Yes, cooked cram. Okay, we've, we've got a lot of food with us. So we're perfectly fine for food. Um, speaking of that, yeah, we are okay right now. Awesome, it's just insomnia that we're su suffering from, which I guess that's a bonus? Yeah. All right. 32 rounds. Could be worse, right? Could be worse. So I know a lot of this episode so far has been preparation, but... Uh, it's a big part for missions like this, and that hazmat suit is just such an incredible find. I, uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. Stoked, in fact. Okay, I'm gonna run ahead, I'm gonna collect some water for us, and then guys and gals, I will see you at that door. I guess it should also be noted that that elevator that we had actually took us the whole way up as well, so that's... That's yet another option for us to explore down this way. I actually forgot about it until I saw it just now. That's why I wanted to uh, come back at this point, just to mention that that is an avenue that we will explore, because um, I don't know how far it's going to go this way. So we always know that we can come back that way and just work to clear this area out. It's, it's not an easy job, but it's one that Akira does 
the best she can. Um, now I'm probably going to actually put this away, well for roleplay purposes than anything, because there is gas all around here and I don't want to be setting that off. Anything in there before we go through? There is actually a nuka. Kind of half tempted to grab you. We might need to, it's a cherry too. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Okay, yeah, let's actually go buzzsaw. Just so that we're ready in case there's anything wild on the other side. Let's see what we got, folks. Let's see what we got. Okay. I don't recall this at all. I don't recall any of this. Have I not been through here? Well, maybe I have, and I've just actually forgotten. It's very dark. Um, oh, no, we have. We've been the whole way. Ah, yes. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, well, actually, you know what? It's good that we have come this way. Because apparently, we can actually go through. And you know what? We've got our suit now. So we should be able to do this thing. And I'm wondering if it's going to be better for us to swap out into it now. So I'm pretty sure it took us down to 70. Let's go put it on. Ah, 65. So we're just a little bit over. So what if we were to leave something behind here? Like this, for example, and, and come back and collect it afterwards. I think that's okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop that on the ground for now. Well, hopefully there's nothing too crazy on this side. But yeah, we're going to be going through with this. Um, so I'm hoping if we have a look now at our stats. Um, yeah. 700 and yep that's pretty good so that's actually taking off our other mask as well so we probably could have just left the, the buffalo helmet behind you know what? it's fine it's fine but uh let's go ahead and grab you out just so we can be ready should we need to okay yeah because I, I i didn't want to leave this unexplored but uh i felt that we needed to turn back we never got the, uh, other part of the note. And I actually can't even remember what the voice was I was doing for that person, so... Who knows what it'll be? Okay, so yeah, that's what we're after. Can we get through to there? What's gonna happen if we... Get to, calm down. Calm down, your pipe revolver. Okay. Um... Well, I'm gonna put this away. I don't know how much rads we're gonna be taking here. Guess I just need to be ready. Okay, two reds. Two reds a second. That's not bad. Could be worse, right? Okay. Um. You know what? Let's take some radics now as well. I I don't think it's going to do much. It's better than nothing though, right? Still two reds a second. Yeah. No way we're getting around there. Okay, I don't think there's anything in there. Let's go. We're going under. Oh, this is dangerous. This is stupid. Is there anything there? No, we're going to come back for air. Yes, I know I'm going to be taking a lot of rads right now. Get air. We'll go back down. I can't see. God damn. Okay. Okay, we made it. We made it. Uh, what's on the other side? That's a great question. Okay. What in the hell have we found? I was not expecting this today. I really wasn't. Okay. That's interesting. I'm hearing a flame. So it's a mannequin. It's some kind of message. I mean, the tunnels were flooded, right? By the Federation? Oh, okay. We got people in there. Okay, let's take this nice and slow, yeah? Must have been stuck up there from the start. Let's keep our eyes peeled for trouble. We're a little weakened now, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and put our other armor on for now. So we're going to go ahead and take the hazmat suit off. Put those back on just for now. Okay. 
Let's see if we can find any notes here. It's quite dark. Sometimes it's actually harder for me to see things with the lantern on just because it's so bright. So occasionally I will be turning it off like this just to see if I can see anything else. Also, it'll help us see the lights of mines. Well, you haven't dropped anything, have you? No. Okay, let's have a little look at just through the dark, just to see if we can see any highlights. Obviously, we've got a mannequin over there. We've got another few dead folks. So I'm imagining they died quite close to the start. Okay. No explosives so far. You can tell when I go completely quiet that I'm a little nervous about things. And I, f I, because I'm getting the sensation, I'm getting the feeling that no one has been down here in years. Fuck. Except we're hearing footsteps, so someone has definitely been down here. Someone's working a machine. I need to get this note. Sentence. Oh shit, I just saw someone. I just saw someone walking past. By the will of the Almighty Father, these men are hereby sentenced to death. Their crimes include, but are not limited, to murder, theft, perjury, trespassing. May this be a warning. Who are you? Who the hell are you? What are you wearing on your face? Who are these people? Are they ghouls? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea who these people are. I don't know if they're friendly or if they're ghouls. I don't know what. But a sentence has been... There's a sentence... Ah, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. Do I make the first move here? You know what? I think we have a, uh, let's create a fallback point. Oh, that makes me nervous though. That makes me so freaking nervous. We've got one more... No, we've only got jet fuel. I don't think that's going to work the same way. Uh, I don't know what to do here, folks. I really don't. We've got a stealth boy. I'm half tempted to use it to see if we can get close enough so that we can find out whether or not these people are friendly. I could just show myself to them for a second. That might be enough for me to be able to figure out if they're bad. But if they've got weapons, they could just shoot us in the head. And it's all over. Alright, we're going to find this out together. If these are bad people or not. Hey! Hey buddy! Hey, can you see me? I think you kind- I think you can notice me. Oh god, oh god. They got weapons out. Okay, these aren't good folks. These aren't good folks. I'm sorry. Oh shit. You gonna come out this way? Towards my explosive? I think maybe you are. Well, we're declaring war. Come on. Come on. You're still coming? Okay. Do we have an out? We do have an out. Who the hell are you? Who are you people? Have we just declared war on the wrong folks? Is Akira fighting for the right side? Themist cultist. I'm gonna need to take that hood off. I need to see your face. Look at that. It's a ghoul. 
It's a freaking ghoul. Okay. 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 Akira was right. Perhaps she sensed it. Perhaps she knew it. We took a freaking gamble. These people died here. Trying to hold back whatever that is. But Akira knows what that is. That, my friends, is ghouls. Perhaps they thought that they were separate from the rest of the world on the side. And look, I'm not trying to paint Akira in a good light. Not all ghouls are bad. We know that. But Akira doesn't. To her, they are a threat to her existence. And, well, they were a threat to her family. Their family is now gone. But guys and gals, that is where we shall be ending today's episode. I'm somewhere where I never intended us to be. I have no idea what awaits for us down here. I have no idea who these cultists are. But they are ghouls. And so Akira has her eye on them. Will they continue to fight? Perhaps. We saw one of them walk for a mine and come out okay, so they are tough. We must be prepared. So please do join us in the next. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.